20, 17, that'll do. They're all skirmishes. Did we get the pikemen up here? We did not. I don't think we're going to be able to. Well, we've done a really significant amount of damage, so this army is not going to be in a position to fight anymore. Isn't it really late for you? No later than I'm usually streaming. Usually my streams are until 2am and it's 1am now, so we've got another hour to go. This doesn't look like Poland. Yeah, I got my schedule slightly mixed up, so I did Poland yesterday. I'm doing Attila today. That was totally my bad. I started it up yesterday, I was like, oh, that's the wrong game, isn't it? Oh well, I'll roll with it. Didn't quite catch them. Let's see if we can catch those. Wait, that's 40 pikemen? How far from the edge are they? Oh, long way. Yeah, we'll catch them. They're not coming back. Go kill them. Yeah, this has been decisive. Ah, oh, this feels good. If I can kill them, I'll be very, very happy. All good. Had about 10 days off. So, back to streaming. Started again last night. This is my first, like, full day back. Yesterday I was struggling. Like, after two hours, I felt like my voice was just going to fall apart. But today, if it's fine. Thankfully, multiplayer isn't quite as strenuous as single player. Plus, I like this game. <laughs> Go, 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 go! That'll do. Close victory, but still a victory! 2,400 versus 1,300. Actually, the uh, Palatina didn't do amazingly, but they were probably the ones fighting the pikemen, while the Legio were the ones actually chopping their way through the enemy mass forces. And the archers, 264 kills for those archers. On this map, that's... Rare. And they weren't even barricade. One unit was left standing and they're warhounds. Oh, this was amazing. Yes! 13% replenishment. Good money. Oh, there are so many Vikings attacking me. Go away, Vikings! We're on the same side! <laughs> 4,400 versus 600. Oh, and they have legionary defectors and desert spears. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Do what you can. And this is the end of Africa. You killed 78. Oh man, Carthage is gonna be a pain. I really am doing a lot worse this time around than I was in the Greco-Roman. The Huns did not attack me there. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't like how the legionary defectors are better than the actual legionaries. Like, what the hell? Seriously? Oh, no. I mean, that's actually a particularly rubbish army. But we've not had the time to rebuild this garrison very well. 3,000 versus 700. Which map? Let's do some damage. Yeah, I don't yell like Ben. When I get really, really frustrated, then the yelling comes forth. But definitely not quite as high octane, high energy as uh, Ben streams. But I'm also a lot less reserved than I used to be. Like, if you see the uh, first couple of... Uh, recordings that I did. I'm very much like, hello, my name is Mordred Viking and I'd like to welcome you to this game which I happen to be playing and has a lot of strategy. Here, let me walk you through how said strategy game works. Rather different style. Uh, 
Alright then, so... Barricade. <laughs> I just had a thought. What I could do is just park my army on the bridge, and they could only get to me, like, two units at a time. Except it's a pain attacking cross bridges. No, you really want the choke points. But there are only two ways into this settlement, and I do have two sets of archers, so we can do a ton of damage. Looks like all of their troops are set up over there, so we'll do this. Heavy shops, you do more damage to infantry. City is untouched. I think we're just going to position some Legio here. Form tight formation! Stand ready! Defensive testudo! We await your command! Or actually, I could use Auxilia and then these guys can throw their javelins and do some extra damage. Uh, I kind of like that idea. So hold your fire. Because this is going to be against spearmen anyway. So in fact, if I could wrap around and hit them from the back, this would be a better option. Cavalry aren't going to be hugely important here. Except for chasing people away. Um, let's hide the cav. And there. Let's put you out a bit more. Oi. You, spread out. Three ranks. That's what I want. Uh, right, you guys are all set up. You guys are not firing. You're done. Uh, right, I still have this wide open, so we're just going to put one unit of Auxilia over here. And if they actually get attacked, I'll send some of the Legio. Alright, let's see what they do. You are heavily outnumbered. We are outnumbered! Really? More than three to one? The enemy approaches! It'll be fine. Oh jeez, these guys were all hidden. That hardly seems fair. Alright, send you over there. So we have some more Legio to come and reinforce you. Unfortunately, they're going to be a bit tired by the time they arrive. Can you run? Oi. Don't dawdle. Come on. Chop, chop. Thankfully, the towers will hold them up for a little while. It looks like the cavalry are going straight for my spears. I mean, what I could do is use the javelins. The tower is nothing but ash now. And then form up double line, kind of like I have with these two. Behind we that front line. To take out our general. Defend him. Now, unfortunately, that is my general, but I think... Yeah, unless it's an actual heroic general, it doesn't really have any impact. Especially not when he dies. At least not a notable one. That's some spiky men. Just go ahead and fire. Enjoy yourselves! Be able to hold that. Incoming. Anyone found my cavalry yet? Nope. Ooh, they do have some slingers. So there is something for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, those slingers are shooting my archers. That's not good. So actually, I should have you guys firing. Let's go and provoke those slingers and get them away from there. I can't afford to be losing my archers. I need them. Right, the cavalry is almost dead at least. And they haven't done a great job of removing my towers either, so both of these towers are going to be shooting pretty much throughout.
holding, they're holding. They're doing their job. Four hundred dead, we've lost a hundred. If we keep this up, then we'll be okay. But we're using up all of our ammunition, so we won't. Yeah, slingers are kind of OP in this. I don't know why they're quite as effective as they are. Like, stat-wise, they shouldn't be, because they have no armor-piercing damage. Like, slingers versus unarmored? Okay, fine. I, I can see that. But against, um, armored? No. I think it's just the enemy that their base missile admit damage defeat. is so high. Their unit has rallied. <clears throat> I think that should be toned down. Because even if you are wearing armor, it doesn't seem to have that much of an impact. Okay, you guys are out of ammo. Let's form you up over here. And you... Actually, let's get you... Here. And you... Now, you do have a... Oh, that's a missile block chance. You don't actually have any bonuses to anti-infantry if you're in shield formation, so we're just going to go ahead and just charge you through. At 700 for 100 kills. So far, so good. Alright, Slinger's dead. So I'm going to send these guys up here and we're going to see if we can break that, that set. While these guys just hold steady. Right, their general's in the front line. If he dies, then this will turn around pretty quickly. If, 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 if. Okay, so the cavalry have shattered. Let's go and kill them so we don't need to deal with their cavalry again in the future. Especially as it showed me that these guys are actually ready to jump out and attack me once we got near. Which is really not very nice of them. Can we stay ahead of those spearmen, please? Thank you. That arrow hit me! I saw that! Shot my own horseman. They move 100, I move 95. But they are running, so they tend to actually run slower. We'll see if that remains true or not. How are we doing? That's 800 dead. For 200. We did indeed catch them. Keep chasing. Like Legio versus Spearman, the Legio should do really quite well. Admittedly, the Legio already have a bunch of kills from when they were throwing the javelins, but Sword versus uh, Spear. Sword should trump that. Now we need to see if we can get some rear charges going on here. So, we've broken out again. I do need to be somewhat careful with the cavalry that I don't just lose them, because I it's gonna be important to have these rear guards shattering action. Alright, so the spearmen are about to run. Yeah, see they're forming a rear guard there. Which is really quite unfortunate. That's a thousand dead. Quickly now! Forward! Charge! One of my horsemen.
horseman, but I got a rear charge in. I'm okay with that. Let's pull up. We lost. Actually, we lost quite a few. Probably wasn't worth it. But we pulled away like four of their units from that front line. Let's see if, well, we've already kind of done that over there. Down to 18. That was really not good. I need these guys to hunt down any of them who shatter. Or even just rout. So. Patience, Mordred. Patience. These guys. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! The enemy general is fallen! That helps. Yeah, see, we're starting to get some breaking here. Around where the general was. And we just sent in my reserve legions. So I need to keep an eye on these guys. Morale's still decent. We're still fine. Have some fun, guys. Have some fun. Some of their spears are starting to waver. We've killed half of their army. A unit has fired all of its ammunition. Advance at speed. Quick march. Forward. Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit. Forward. Oh, my cavalry... <laughs> the cavalry saw all the enemy running, they were like, you know what? We'll join you. Let's all run away together. Which is really annoying, because now it means I'm not going to be able to kill half of their units. I was, I was hoping to have my cavalry just chasing around here, just killing them. So I don't need to do this again. Alas. I think we're about to have a chain round. Morale is still holding. A chain route would be really nice because then I can send these guys out. And these guys are pretty quick. And they're out of ammo now anyway. So come on, chain route. Then I can send the Legio the other end and have them go chop up some more spearmen. There we go. We can sneak past. Sweet. Okay, so we'll do this thing way around. No. So long as these two hold, we'll be fine. So long as they hold. is hardly moving. That's good. Oh, the pikemen are about to run. That's even better. I really wish I had my cavalry still. 
Oh well. Um, let's get you guys over here if we can. And then you two. Here. Unless you start to pull away. Oh dear, one of them starting to falter. Wow, you lost a morale quickly. In that case, charge in. Reinforcements are arriving, guys. Okay, they saw the reinforcements coming in, they stabilized. That's what I needed to see. that they just shatter. Can we please just rout rather than chattering? Ah oh, shit, all of the spearmen ran. Come on guys, not now. We've got this. Look at all these guys faltering. We've got this. Actually, these are Legio and they're actually much stronger. So they should be fine. They have more men. And again, Legio versus Spears. Legio win. Even a unit of league, you're not fighting. Oi, get in the fight, guys. Haha, chain route. Yep, they're all going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory! This is your day! Booyah! That's one of the most crazy odds battles I've ever won. Bar none. Oh man. That was stressful. That was very slightly stressful. I didn't realize just how hunched up I was. I was like... Oh man. Mm. Oh, you guys have stopped. Why why have you stopped? Don't don't stop. Otherwise you gotta do this again. And I'd really rather you didn't have to do this again. Yeah, this is where having cavalry would have been even better. <laughs> 